Well, good morning. Uh, I'm gonna try to today to do a more of a walk around of the John Deere 9760 that I'm excited to have. <laughs> um, mostly because I'm still learning. Uh, I've been going through the book, trying to figure out as much stuff as I can, but there's still just a lot a lot to it so um, yeah I'm gonna try to walk around but uh, as people watch these videos and know more about the rotor combines uh, please feel free to comment or give suggestions on on everything to look so yeah okay so as you can see I do have all of the panels opened up um, this is really interesting compared to the John Deere 9500, just how many different access panels, um, how you can get to actually see the, uh, the threshing unit. Um, I do have the, the panels off on the other side. Um, one thing I do really like about this combine uh, compared to um, others I've seen is, is obviously um, the previous owner um, did a lot of... Uh, did a lot of um, labeling um, in terms of how often uh, each of the uh, the grease fittings need to be uh, greased. Uh, they put the numbers on the paneling of the door, which I'm assuming is probably pretty nice um, if you're trying to put them back into order. Um, again, this is all new to me compared to the 9500. Um, this does have the Ag Leader yield monitor system already installed. Um, got the module up there. Um, obviously, I'm going to go through um, to get everything greased and then run everything just to see. But uh, yeah, this is one of those with with the age and the amount of hours. So uh, maybe it's just me and bias because obviously this is mine now. But uh, you know, the the previous owner really did a good job at. Uh, at least from my perspective, this was always inside and uh, um, well taken care of. It's nice because maybe it comes standard, but it has the lights on the uh, lights on the inside, lights for the service door. Again, this may all come standard, but uh, I guess we'll see. Just a chopper in the back. I uh, need to look a little bit more on just whether or not the settings are correct I do see uh, it is in the corn uh, flipped for corn but uh, um, on the 9500 you had to change around the belt speed so I'm not sure I need to look look at that to see if that's the case um, yeah I'm not going to pretend to know uh, much about these right now because Obviously, I don't. I'm doing essentially a first walk around, um, and then I have the owner's manual, so I'll be going through and doing that. A lot bigger access to uh, the engine compared to the 9500. Um, when you get these panels up, yeah, yeah, um, just just obviously seeing the. The big connection uh, going over to the rotor that you see in the middle of the machine. Then the unloading, the belts for the chopper. Um, so I do see it is on high speed. Um, yeah, obviously I'm going to read in the book. <laughs> That's what needs to get done. Um, so this is what I was talking about. Um, <laughs> I do have the, uh, the panels off and some of the, the things, but, um, just in terms of having access to, uh, if I fear up on terminology, it's going to be stupid, but, uh, the concaves and then just further, sh uh, threshing, uh, from the rotor, but a lot different than obviously the walk
Walker 9500 was, but uh, <laughs> really clear access to in here. This will be nice. Um, I know you can do a power shutdown if you need to to see like what uh, what your grain quality is doing and yeah just having access to be able to look at all of this is pretty pretty great <laughs> I don't see anything that I'll be replacing right away um, but again like as, as I said if uh, if there is anything uh, that somebody sees uh, but you know one of the things that drew me to this combine was just the uh, the cleanliness of it and how well I thought it was taken care of so uh, not much still going through that like I said this has duels on it that I'm really excited for um, not that the super singles weren't bad um, my dad's combine always had duels and I don't I'm just one that um, I think it will be nice to have um, have available um, I do the nice <laughs> wow uh, the nice thing is is so my I had I have an 893 corn head and previously on the 9500 it was the hex shaft uh, PTO shaft uh, but when I had bought the 893 it had came with the thousand uh, PTO shaft so um, I just reinstalled those and should be good to go now um, obviously just need to go over all of this more but preliminary having looked at all the belts um, I don't see anything uh, majorly pressing but <laughs> Again, I'm, I'm all across the board in what I'm talking about, but it is, uh, it's a, it will be a learning curve. Um, just like I said, it's, it's a lot different than the 9500. It's a lot more machine, totally different concept with the fact that it's a rotor, but, uh, yeah, I mean, one of the things that, uh, they could have already replaced it, but you know, the fact that the, the, the um, drum still has paint on it um, they had to have replaced it considering it, it the hours it does have but um, it's, it's, it's at 2900 separating hours but again just I'm still holding firm that for its age uh, it looks it looks really good I still need to uh, I had to go over all the things. I know the rock trap was open, um, which is good because a lot of the ones you look at, um, the rock trap, I don't know if people had ever uh, opened it up because the amount of uh, this dried up corn is kind of crazy. Assuming this is just to get more access to belts. Again, more uh, more writing that they had done on the unit, um, just by how much it gets greased. All of them will get greased right now because I'm not sure exactly when it's been greased last. But. tires um, I think they're great in terms of the life that's on them I don't do that much road running and uh, these are these are nice I'm looking quickly if I would have to guess I'm gonna sound stupid for not having known this yeah 20.5 42s I think 42s um, my dad's combine with the 
uh, dual originally had rice tires um, and they ended up getting uh, uh, replacing them with just uh, some nice new 18438 so uh, this definitely sits higher with the taller tires so Let's get up in the engine compartment <laughs> I know this is just magnetic. Oh no. That's what it is. Still learning. Yeah. I don't see. Uh, I may want to put some hydraulic oil in it. It is going to be due for an oil change soon. Like Andy said, don't leave that up because this barely fits in the barn with the extensions down. So uh, that would definitely get taken out or screw up the barn. But uh, yeah, I had had this before of what it looked like with the extensions up and on top of the mower extensions it has the tip up extensions so i'm excited to see how much this will hold uh like i had said in my other video it's almost like having another wagon like uh obviously i can be out combining for longer um if there's not a wagon here uh so uh yeah i'm gonna see how it goes in terms of um uh just speed and everything and how fast I can get the green away again just when, when I compare it to the 9500 just a lot more ability to uh, to get to things looking down right on the rotor rotor housing I'm gonna take Andy's advice and look at uh, maybe getting a GoPro because I'm guessing the quality on this isn't the best. I do want to go through and clean some of the crud off. But yeah, overall, I'm really happy. I, I'm. I guess I won't know exactly until I get out into the field, but uh, um, I'm really happy with what I see so far. Um, oops. <laughs> No, I'm not really going over the uh, nuts and bolts and everything, but again, like I said, there's a big owner's manual that I'm starting to go through. Just need somebody out there that wants to put a video of how to step-by-step -step these on YouTube. I'll be good to go. I will get in the cab quick. So I do have my globe. I have to uh, get the deluxe shroud from uh, for to fit. Oops. Whoa. Um, to fit this and I need to get a uh, female to female adapter because my Starfire has a male end and this has a male end so but I need to get the bracket that goes on that uh, to be able to I use the Starfire to run the GPS for the Ag Leader system if that makes sense um, I mean I already have the GPS unit and I like mapping all the fields 
Um, I don't have a system of auto steer or anything like that. But uh, so that's there. I was going through and setting up. I'll do that in, in another time. Um, the Integra system. Uh, this does, like I said, have. Uh, I'm guessing the key needs to be on. Well, I'm sure maybe it has to be running. So. I'm going to learn more about these. Obviously, I know these are my presets for height um, that I'll be looking at in the display. This is to engage the head, to engage the separator. Uh, this is for the road. It, um, it locks, locks features in when you're going down the road. Um, concave clearance, speed, fan speed. Um, I'm going to feel dumb because I need to actually look in the book. Um, I had had gone through and looked some of what those are. Engine speeds, turtle medium fast, whole wheel drive. To lift the header up, up and down. This does have a uh, contour master so it can go from side to side. Um, auger in and out, auger on. So, and then this would be speeding my, speeding my corn head up or down. Um, I don't have hydraulic deck plates, so won't do that. So yeah, the only thing I really need to do yet is wash this window. <laughs> um, figure out how to get my files from. Mm -hmm. An ag leader in, uh, insight to an ag leader integra that's new um, with the and then uh, have Hudson ride with me in the buddy seat so yeah there's not much not much to this I'll do more when uh, when I'm ready to go and after I read the book more um, I probably f sound pretty novice right now what I know but it's, uh, buy a new combine like this so my grain sample again don't have the extensions up but I will we'll have the monitor through the globe this is just I'm guessing to get to some grease points and well it was grease points on the 9500 now it's just uh, access to other things Yeah, I'm, I plan to do more. I'll maybe do another one of these after I read through the book more and know what I'm adjusting. Um, I've been reading, I'm going to start with the book uh, settings to do corn. Um, and then they just say, um, it always seems like go from there. But uh, yeah, I'm excited to, uh, uh, to learn more. Um, nice having oh I need to these are just my lights but I do need to go through this more um, in terms of what I'm looking at because still learning this is back right before the chopper like it's pretty open in the back here in terms of the final sieves but uh, <laughs> sorry I'm looking through these as basically uh, my first time so <laughs> but, well before this video gets too too long I'll go through and uh, end it, but uh, yeah, put all my panels back in. 
this is a uh, pretty pretty preliminary tour of a John Deere 9760 2004 I love it it's, it looks like one heck of a machine she if she does as good uh, <clears throat> harvesting as she looks I'm, I'm gonna be really happy so well time to get back to my little man and Chaffer in the cab. <laughs> I like that. 